you are welcome to structures pro we are still uh, on connection design today i will be showing you how to design a, a joint like this at once designing this joint this joint that involves a column a brazing uh, rather two brazings and a beam all together this joint all together i'm going to be showing you that in this class it's very simple just using a gusset plate connection and it's done so but let me still show you the three-dimensional view so that you you behold the picture clearly for better understanding it's a joint like this here we have beam column and the uh, brazings we can do a connection like this at once yes okay the first thing we do is we run analysis again like i told you in our last class each time you close your start work and reopen it you have to re, re um reanalyze so it's very very necessary so we do that quickly Our analysis is running. It won't take time. Yes, this is the we have zero error and the warning. So we click done. Then we go to connection design. These are the connection designs we have done in the past. I have the videos, all of them. The video of the of all of them are in my channel. So if you have not watched them, go and watch them one after the other. And if you have still not subscribed to this channel, I will assure you there are a lot of things to, to learn from this channel. I have a lot of things to dish out on this channel. So do not uh, deprive yourself the opportunity. Just click the subscription button, be part of this, uh, of this project, and uh, we learn together. Click the subscription button, share my content with your friends, like, and give me a comment. Let me know how you feel about, about what I'm creating. You can as well make a request of a tutorial class, a video tutorial, which I will, I will definitely do and post on my channel for your consumption. So, okay, we quickly um, select the joint that we want to run the connection for. Click here, the columns, the brazing and beam. Then we, we go to G. This one is for gusset plates click on gusset plate so this template is the one that is showing me what i need we have column we have beam we have brazing and there's gusset plate there so this thing is going to also be mirrored to this place and it gives me what i want so i'm going to select that that's the right template for this design so what i'm going to use this one this cbb e EP. This is the one that we use. It's very important. Um, I'll click OK. So our design is done. Says there's warnings. So okay, we click, we click, uh, double click here, or you edit. So this shows uh, our design. If you look at it, we see that we have a lot of work to do here. We need to edit a lot of things. The the number of boats are many. Um, the plate thickness we need to now modif do it, modifications for it to suit what we want um, what we want it to be so we just come here there are a lot of things to you know check out here a lot of things to check out in case that this is make for seismic provision no cor corrosive influences no okay consider whole deformation in boats no Full end plate at right side of the column. If I uncheck it, okay, it's already giving me warning, so I must have to leave it on. Yes, okay. You have to embars right beam. Right beam is is active. If I if I remove it, that beam will go. You know, so if I remove that beam, I'll have something like this. I think uh, we can as well have a connection like this. Yeah, but I have a beam there. 
so I would not uh, I wouldn't like to remove my right beam or add it here and then uh, left beam if you want to include the left beam but in this design we don't even have any left beam so it's not necessary I'm just showing you the things you can uh, the features in this uh, uh, connection design I will remove the left beam the upper right brace you can remove it you can remove it yeah, right brace but it's necessary we have it there there are other things we can do here just be, just play around it and as you are doing that the design is taking taking it immediately and you know running analysis and returning the results immediately so this one is column orientation if i want to take it to the website this is already at the website web connecting to the web yeah so, but that's not uh, what i want in this case i will take it back then uh, right beam is the plate extended both ways full depth you know, so see our design has failed to infinity so don't need to choose full depth extended top it only goes to the top direction uh, extended bottom only to the bottom direction extended both ways is what uh, is, is better that's what i normally use then plate thickness uh, my own this uh, this 4.7 is small for me i will use i will use six or even eight it is good for plate thickness uh, then uh, Beam, beam and gusset side, so we use fillet weld, top beam flange weld size, I normally use 6, um, 6 is good, okay. anyway I see weld, I put 6 there, The bolts, let me select the both sides, M16, bolt gauge, okay, if you look at uh, the plate, the plate uh, extended um, from the, the column, is bigger than the column, so I will use this uh, gauge to bring it uh, closer, so I will use 100 here. Yeah, you see, it has, it has reduced. I can reduce it further if I want. I'll try to flush it with the with the column, but I'm, I'm okay like this. So, you see, vertical end distance. If I can use uh, 35 here and see what is going to happen. I use that five again. Yeah. The boot row. Um. Boot row rules is five. Let me put one and see what was going to happen. Okay, this is not bad, it's good, it's perfect for me because this plate, this gusset plate is going to be welded to this column and some part of it will be welded to the plate, they will kind of chamfer it, yes, and it only holds this, uh, this brazing, why this plate here will be to, um, for this, for this beam to be, you know, connected to the column. So I'm I'm good like this. I also put one here to so the other side. I also put one there. It's, it's okay. Then this other one, I put one. Everything will now arrive. Good, good, wonderful. So I I, I love it like this. It's going to be welded. 
to the, this plate and this other one will be wedded to the column yes 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 so the plates here is just to hold my beam that's good hold my beam and the and the gusset plate is to hold the the brazing yeah that's wonderful that's wonderful wonderful okay um is there another thing i need to do here i don't think i have uh, another, any other thing to do okay, i can reduce this figures to 50. good see my boot is now centralized yeah to the non at the center of the beam that's 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 good that's good yes everything is all right for me this is the connection it's looking so good looking so wonderful so this is the if you click data you see our input this is our input data exactly our input data and the uh, you see the results here this is the results everything passed everything passed okay let's click on the dx self you see the drawing detail yeah this is the detail drawing very wonderful the gusset plate is already there it's going to be welded here here and yes of course here and this is the well dimension so we can take this to to autocad and clean it up yes we are going to end here i'll still do more connection um designs and i will still do more teachings on connection so please subscribe share like and comment do not miss out stay tuned and uh, let's keep learning together thank you see you next time